Can you train your brain to read faster? Perhaps. Recent brain research and my 23 years of volunteer literacy tutoring combined with some promising ways that you just might be able to. My average student improved their reading speed by 37%. However, if you're already reading over 500 words per minute, it may not work for you. If you're interested, stay tuned for brain training ideas. We'll look at three keys to improving your reading speed so you can learn to read faster and become more productive. But first, we'll look at the research. Recent brain research has found that the adult brain of good readers does not process words as wholes, but instead, as neuroscientist Stanislas Dehaene explains, by analyzing the individual letters and letter teams at the same time in a massively parallel architecture. First, the brain recognizes letters. Does this sound easy? Letters include writing done by hand, even messy writing. Computers have trouble being trained to do this. It's harder than it seems. Next, the letters are translated into sounds so fast that the adult mind thinks it is recognizing them in holes, when, in fact, each letter and letter team is being processed in parallel. In the brains of good readers, they are processed in the area of the brain that processes sounds and oral language. I'll link to a playlist with videos showing how this amazing process works in the video description. Over my years as a tutor, I've worked with hundreds of students, individually and in groups. With the help of 40L volunteers, I've been able to reach a lot more than I could on my own through group classes. As I've refined my teaching material in light of research, I've found that my students have progressed faster and faster. I've combined findings from research with what works with my students to improve your reading speed in just a month or two with material that is free to print. We'll look at how you can harness these research findings to improve your own reading speed. But first, let's look at a few students. The first two students were reading at grade level, but were thought to have reading comprehension problems. They each improved four reading grade levels and improved their oral reading speed on average 24%. This next student was four grade levels behind. He went through my syllable spell success class twice. He improved two reading grade levels. However, his reading speed did not improve much at first, just his accuracy. After the first class, he improved his oral reading speed by 8% while improving his accuracy from 71 to 85%. But after a break and then the second class, his oral reading speed doubled while his accuracy improved to 99%. You might not have such large gains. Also, I have only measured oral reading speeds so far, but oral and silent reading speeds are correlated, and my students have said that they have been able to read books faster and finish their homework faster. The slower you read, the more likely you are to see improvement. It may take a month or two to train your brain, but it is easy and free to try. I've had students who were good readers who took the group syllables class to improve their spelling and writing or to learn Greek and Latin word roots. They also improve their reading speed. There are three keys to improving reading speed. We'll look at these three keys now to help you harness these findings to learn to read faster. The first key is to focus on sounds. Brain research shows that the brains of good readers process the sounds of words very fast in parallel. I found with my students that the more I focused on sounds, the better they did. If you improve the speed with which your brain processes the sounds, the effects multiply with each word and sentence you read. They all contain the basic sound spelling patterns of English. The basic sounds are covered in 40L's one-page vowel and consonant chart. Don Potter's phonovisual YouTube video explains their order and also how to use charts like these. The sounds that most people do not have overlearned are the two-letter vowel teams. 40L has a separate chart for overlearning these two-letter vowel teams. First, you drill them in color with a key then in color without the key, then in black and white. The Syllable Spell Success program, with free videos to watch and all the files free to print and use, teaching spelling rules for these two-letter vowel teams that will help your brain learn them even better, which should provide faster recall. To train your brain with key one sounds, do daily drill with these two charts and complete the syllables program. The second key is to focus on syllables. Syllables are the true unbroken sounds your brain uses to process words. They are the true atoms of reading instruction. We'll look at some sound waveforms in a bit to see why. 
But before we get to the complex version, we'll look at a quick visual explanation with something everyone understands. Blocks. These blocks represent letter sounds. But letter sounds are not true sounds. They are actually approximations. A few sounds like M or the vowels can be said in isolation exactly how they are said in a word, but most consonant sounds cannot physically be said in isolation without the addition of a bit of a vowel sound at the end. Even if you think that you're saying the sound of B, B without any vowel sound, you're just shortening the length of time that you're saying the vowel at the end. It is physically impossible to produce a pure sound of the letter B, B. And while the sound of M, M makes the same sound in isolation as when it is combined in a word, you usually say it for a longer length of time when you say it in isolation. When you put the letter sound approximation B, B together with the sound of long E, E to make the word B, E, B, you have to subtract the bit of the vowel sound at the end. The blocks show how the end vowel sound of B is hidden or subtracted hidden or subtracted when it is combined with E, and how the sound of M is shortened when it is combined with E to make M, E, me. Here are the letter sound approximations, E, T, I, T, versus the word edit. It is hard to see how they match, right? Now, let's look at the syllables ed and it versus the word edit. It's a much better match. Now, a long vowel word. Again, the syllables do and t match the word duty better than the letter sound approximations. Because of this, syllables are the true atoms of reading instruction, and learning syllables is very important to becoming a more efficient, faster reader. To train your brain with the second key, syllables, use 40L's 10 Lesson Syllables Spell Success Program. This program will teach you how to break words into syllables based on syllable division rules. Then, you'll practice with words already broken up into syllables from Webster's Speller. For additional syllable practice, read all of the two or more syllable words in Webster's Speller, available from Don Potter as a free PDF or in book form from Amazon. The third and final key is nonsense words. Nonsense words are like push-ups for the reading brain. They are the ultimate test of its ability to process sounds, straining its limits while building strength. 40L's syllables program includes a lot of opportunity to practice with nonsense words. Better yet, there are syllable division exercises with nonsense words, allowing you to practice two key areas at once. There are also word lists of nonsense words organized into groups of 25 for you to track your speed and accuracy of reading different, different types of nonsense words. You start with easy nonsense words and graduate to a list with a mix of all types of single syllable nonsense words. The syllables program also includes tracking explanation and graphs so you can chart your progress. To train your brain with nonsense words, you'll complete the nonsense word syllable division exercises in the syllables program and do daily reading and tracking of nonsense words. Continue daily reading and tracking of the nonsense words for at least a month after completing the syllables program. The nonsense word reading and tracking can be done in less than 10 minutes a day. If nonsense word accuracy is less than 100% after completing the syllables program, do daily readings to work on building up of nonsense words and time only once a week for speed. Work on reading accurately first before you work on improving your speed. Speed will come with time and accurate practice. You don't want to practice bad habits. The three keys to improving reading speed are sounds, syllables, and nonsense words. To implement the power of these three keys, you need to go through the Syllable Spell Success Program, approximately one hour a day for 10 days. The rest of the work on these keys can be done in 10 minutes a day over the next month or two. You will be doing a daily review of the sound charts, a daily nonsense word reading and tracking, and five minutes daily reading of two and more syllable words in Webster Spellers. Just the words, not the sentences. If you have a slowdown on the MWIA or cannot read the nonsense words with 100% accuracy, 
Remediation will be faster if you limit outside reading of sentences, stories, and books for at least a few weeks. It takes time to build new reading habits in your brain, and outside reading can trigger old reading habits. Reading nonsense words and lists of words in isolation helps you focus on sounding out each word from left to right, building up your brain's new reading habits. Is it worth the time? If it works, you'll get back your effort in spades. Here's a graph showing how many hours it takes to read a book at a few different reading speeds. If you improve from 300 to 400 words per minute, you could save three hours during a slog through crime and punishment. If you were going to use these cliff notes, well, you could read those faster too. Improving your reading speed can also improve the time you have to think about each question on the SAT. Here's a graph showing how much time per question you have to think at reading speeds between 100 and 300 words per minute. The red squares show if you, how much time you have if you read the questions once, and the blue diamonds show how much time you have if you read the questions twice a piece. You read the questions first, then you read the passage, and then you read the questions and answer them. So not only giving you more time to think, but uh, time to think about it while you're reading the passage and, and be looking for the answers. And the faster you read, the more likely you are to be able to have time to read the questions twice. At 100 words per minute, you don't have time to read the questions twice. At 150 words per minute, you can read the questions twice and you'll have more time to think about each question. The faster you read, the more time you'll have to think about each question. Besides building a stronger reading brain, the syllables lessons can help you out in other areas. In the first half of the lessons, you'll learn things that can improve your spelling. In the second half, you'll learn things that can improve your vocabulary and strengthen your writing. So, you may be wondering, then why is the syllables program free, if it's so powerful? Well, 40L is a nonprofit whose mission is to transform lives by improving educational foundations through the Word of God. One way I hope to do that is by providing these lessons to as many people as possible. The best way to learn all this is to teach someone else. There are plenty of opportunities, as the chart below shows, but these cities are not the only cities with students that need help. Look at greatschools.org for not so great school in your area and improve yourself while helping others. The video format makes it easy to teach. You can improve your own reading speed while improving the reading abilities of those who need a little extra help. Help 40L help these three keys be the key to not only improving yourself, but also improving your community. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and my syllable series so that together we can reach everyone who needs to build a better reading brain.